Hello to everybody. No, thank you. A lively audience. Friends, I shall be talking on a subject on which nobody will like to talk. But it is in the minds of every Indian. And that is reservation. I know that the reservation, we are quite reserved about this topic. My topic is reservation to right person. What was the objective? The objective of this reservation coming to the aim point objective is that those who are socially and educationally backward, they should get an equal opportunity so that they also become part of the system. They get some benefit and so that they become part of the system. I shall like to share my experience with you. Being member of parliament for five years back, Matam Samaj people came to me and they said that they are not getting opportunities as far as higher education is concerned. They are not getting opportunities as far as jobs are concerned. I was surprised. I was surprised because I asked them that you come into the category of scheduled caste. In Maharashtra, they come under this category. And you have a reservation, but still you feel that you are not getting the benefits. They say that, yes, in Maharashtra, 57 or 58 castes are there, which are represented in scheduled caste. And those castes, one or two castes are highly educated out of those 57 or 58. And they take away all the facilities and benefits. So what is happening? That our community, that is Mati Samaj people, are not able to compete with them. Similarly, I shall like to share, when I observed, that in scheduled tribe, there is one community, that is Nina. They have taken efforts, it's nice, really. And they are now highly educated people. They occupy most of the government jobs. But the challenge is, the tribal people from Garchiroli, or the tribal people from Andaman Nicobar, are not able to compete with these people, this community, and ultimately they are deprived of their facility. So what is the challenge? That is the assumption is totally wrong. What is that assumption? The assumption is that in category, suppose in scheduled caste, all the caste if you see, or in scheduled tribe, all the caste you compare, we see, we assume that all are equal. All the caste are equal, as well as all people are equal. But when we assume that all are equal, when we know that they are not equal. Just now I shared my experiences with you. So this assumption has to be again reassessed. <coughs> Second is, all I have talked to you about the experience. Let me talk about the evidence now. Honorable Justice J. Rohini Commission was found to, for the subcategorization of the OBC. OBC means other backward class. It is not other backward caste. 
The evidence or what was published data, if you see, <coughs> is astonishing. That is total cost in OBC are 2,633. If you see this chart, the bar, vertical bar, I should show you in a separate slide. If you see, out of this 2,633 cars, the 10 cars have a well benefit which is 24.95%. 10 cars which the population may be less than 0.1%. OBC have reservation of 27% and the population which is less than 0.1% is taking the added benefits of 27% uh, people. So if you see 10 is the number of cars, 24.95 is the percent share of benefits. If you see the bottom green bar, it shows that 983 cars have not availed a single facility, not even in education, not in job. 983 cars. The reservation benefit has not reached. So, what is the challenge statement? Challenge statement is, as you know, what we can provide to those where the reservation benefit has not reached. What is the solution for this? Because important, not to raise the question, but it is important to provide the solution also. The solution most of the time provided is divide it into backward, more backward, most backward, and very, very backward. So what will happen? In every category, there will be 500, 500 each, nearly. And out of that, five cars will take away most of the benefits. So this is not the proper solution. <coughs> so, friends, I have come out with a new solution, and that is weighted indexing system. What is it? The most important part in this weighted indexing system is I am not changing the quota. That is, whatever percentage the scheduled cast have, that is 13 percent, that will remain the same. OBC 27 percent will remain the same. Cast, 2,633 cast will be there in the OBC. Same will be more than 1,000 are there in SC. They will remain the same. So, no change in that. Then, what are the criteria which define the social or educational backwardness? So these are the criteria on which we can decide. Suppose the parents are illiterate. You know that how difficult it is to get education for those children. Because atmosphere in the house will not be conducive for the education. How many of you, how many of you have, let me know, you can raise the hand, that the parents are illiterate, they have not passed 10. Are there any pupils here? That is only one person, he is a speaker, that too. So, see, it is very difficult to get admission for those whose parents are illiterate. Education in villages and education in city is totally different. The facilities and the opportunities. You know very well. So those in villages should get some points. Those Parents, if are illiterate, they should get some points. And these points will give them a priority in the reservation. A priority. We will give some points to those students or children 
whose parents are illiterate or those who are coming from villages. How many of you have passed 10th from village? There is one hand on you out of all this. Two. So you can see all, with all those difficulties, we should prioritize them. We will give points to children who study from JP, Jilla Parishad schools or municipal corporation schools. I shall not like to put my son in my in municipal corporation school or Jilla Parishad school. So they should they will be prioritized. We will give some points. And we will add up, we will have more criteria also, we, or we can reduce the criteria also. And we will make the total of all these points together. So they will get the priority. So ultimately, the aim is those 983 cars, which are new, which have never availed any reservation benefit. They should, in every category, they should get the advantage. What are the advantages of this system? Most important is that the reservation was with some objective which we discussed. The objective of the reservation will be fulfilled that those who are educationally and socially backward will be benefited. Second is that there are many things which are happening around you, if you see. I, I shall like to tell you that India is the only country where everybody wants to say that I am backward. And we take it lightly, but because of this feeling, everybody feels that he is backward and so he cannot uh, do anything. Government has to do for him or her. So you will see on the road there are many more chats for getting reservation. I am also part of it. So many more chats is not a problem. But those elite class people who come from this caste, they will say that we need a news. And if we want the news, they will say that violence should be there, then it becomes a breaking news. So ultimately, the violence is there, the mochas are there, the <coughs> violence. So this will stop somewhere. Because elite class will feel that we will not be getting, or we will not be getting the reservation benefit. This is very important. And secondly, elite class will gradually say that we do not need that I should add from this caste or this caste. So ultimately that advantage is also very important. So it becomes a casteless society gradually. Because the elite class gradually will like to say that we are not part of this system. And we will go towards casteless society. What is the surest test of casteless society according to me? is that if the marriages happen between the caste of open category and the reserved category, there is no social storm, there is no storm in the house also, it will be an indicator of a casteless society. So friends, if we start from the Antyodai, that is the last person or the people who are not benefited from reservation and start with that, it will ultimately give rise to Sarvodaya, which is our aim. Friends, I seen this girl in a remote village. Her parents were illiterate from a tribal village. I asked her, in which standard you are studying? She said, I'm studying in four standard. I asked her, what do you will like to be? Will, in future, will you like to be a doctor, engineer, or what? She said, I want to be Prime Minister of India. Friends, 
let us create an environment. Let us give equal opportunity to her to fulfill her dream and let us make this weighted indexing system as a part of our process and policy. Thank you very much. Thank you.